Hi, this is Mark Hendricks. I'm going to give you a quick and easy guide to the 123 WYSIWYG HTML editor. The first thing we want to do is open up your 123 WYSIWYG and we're going to create a new file just to get a blank page to work with here. Now, one of the things that you do before you start building web pages is put, create a folder on your hard drive that's going to represent your website. And in this case, I created a folder called 123WWDemo to represent 123WYSIWYGDemo. And inside that folder, I've also created another folder called Images, and that's where I'm going to store any pictures or graphics that I want to put on those web pages. So you'll see that in just a moment. So the very first thing we want to do after creating our folders and opening up this blank page is we want to save this page. So I'm going to save it to that 123 demo, www demo folder. And I'm going to save it as template.html. And that'll be the basis for what we're going to do later. All right, now let's start building our template. We're going to create a table. So we're going to insert table. And we found that uh, setting up your tables for this purpose, 600 pixels works very well because it fits within a 800 pixel wide screen and a 1024 pixel wide screen. So you want to make sure your, your web pages work on at least both of those settings. Those are the two most common settings that are available now. We're going to center it. We're going to create a table with two rows and two columns. We're going to put zero for cell padding and spacing. Border, we don't need one at this time. In the background color, we want to be able to have the text in uh, a black or red or whatever color we choose show up very well. So we're going to use a white background for our tables. Now we click OK. Since we want to have a header graphic at the top of this page, I want to merge these two cells by clicking and dragging across the top here to mark them. Then go to Table and Merge Cells. And then clean this up just a little bit by taking care of some space with the Delete key. There we go. Now I'm ready to insert my header graphic. I click Image. I go out and find it in the Images file that I set up within the 123WWDemo file, which represents my website folder. Here's the images folder for that website. There's my header that I want to use. And my header gets put in there. 